Welcome to Cloud Infrastructure Services YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to show you how you can set up a LAMP stack server on Jupyter to host it on Google Cloud Platform. So, simply click the link in the description box to come to this marketplace listing for Google Cloud and from here you want to create a new virtual machine. So for that, simply click on launch. After that, you would be brought to this screen where you can customize your virtual machine. So give your virtual machine a deployment name and then choose the region or zone where you want your virtual machine to be deployed and I am going to go with Europe. After that, scroll down and choose the machine type according to your requirements. Scroll down even more. Choose the disk space according to your requirements and then scroll down and accept the agreement and finally click on deploy. Now this LAMP stack image comes with pre-installed Apache, PHP, PHP MyAdmin, MySQL and Let's Encrypt. And as you can see, our Apache virtual machine is being deployed so simply wait for the deployment process to complete. After the deployment is complete, we can access the SSH terminal of our virtual machine by simply clicking on this button that says SSH. So click on it and you would open up a new window which is going to turn into our SSH terminal after a few moments. Now inside this SSH terminal, we want to create a new user or maybe we want to just give a different password to our root user for MySQL database. So for that we need to access the MySQL shell. So type in the command MySQL space double hyphen user is equal to root space double hyphen password. So this is going to allow us to actually access the MySQL shell after entering the password and the password is MySQL1234 and then hit enter. After that we are inside the MySQL shell. Now we want to alter the root user and to change its password. So for that simply click the link in the description box to go to the step by step blog post guide on how to set up LAMP stack. So on this blog post you would find these two commands so copy these and paste them inside our SSH terminal and then hit enter. Now as you can see that within the commands this is the password that we are giving to the root user. If you want to give a different password simply replace this text with the password that you want to give. After that. What I want to do is that I want to access my PHP my admin portal. So for that simply go back to Google Cloud and then from here click on this hamburger icon, scroll down, hover over compute engines and then click on VM instances. From here you can see that our newly created virtual machine has been listed over here. So scroll to the right and copy this external IP address and then paste it inside a new tab and then follow it up by PHP my admin. This is our PHP my admin portal from where we can manage and access our database and the username is root and the password that we have just given it. And after entering this password we can simply hit go and then we would be able to access the PHP my admin portal. So from here I can manage databases, SQL and check the status and user accounts as well. Now if you want to create a new user for your database or maybe you don't want to use the root user for your database then simply head back to the blog post and from here you would find these commands. These are to create a new user for your LAMP stack. So as you can see that the username is this one. So replace this text with the username that you want to give and this is the password for that particular user account. So simply copy these commands and paste them inside the SSH terminal. And just like that we have created a new user account with the name new user and this is the password. And then in the next step let's see how we can add a new website using LAMP stack. So the very first thing is that I'm going to quit from this MySQL shell and for that we need to type in the command quit and hit enter. After that we have the command sudo lamp space add and hit enter. Now it is going to ask us for our website name or server name. So we're going to go with CIS and then it is going to ask us for the website root directory. By default it is going to stay under the name of the folder that I've just given it which is CIS. So I'm going to go with the default one by simply hitting enter. So now it is asking us for the email address of our administrator user. So I'm going to type in test at test.com. Make sure to use a valid email because this is the email that you would be using to access your admin portal. After that it is asking us if we want to create the database. So I am just going to go with no but it's all up to you. And then it is asking us if we want to give the SSL certificate using let's encrypt. You can go with yes or no it's totally up to you but for the sake of this tutorial I am simply going to go with no and hit enter. And just like that we have successfully added our website. Now if you want to confirm that we have successfully added this website or created this website using LAMP stack. We can head inside the root directory of our website which is cd space forward slash data forward slash www. In here we can simply type the command ls to show the list of all the directories within this folder. And just like that you can see that there is a directory named as cis. 
So now all there is left to do is that to write some code for your website. Anyways, that was it for this tutorial on how to set up LAMP stack and how to create a website using the LAMP stack. If you have any queries regarding this tutorial, make sure to leave that query in the comment section down below. And make sure to check out the link in the description box for the marketplace listing of Google Cloud and for the step-by-step -step blog post guide. If this video has helped you in any way, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel.